folks, Bob Kessler, dogmentalist.com here. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about... So, we're getting ready to go see our rescue. It's going to be a very, very sticky situation. I have a nervous little rescue in there. Um, when I came to the door, she barked, uh, Gizmo. So, uh, I'll do everything with Gizmo live and in color going to be wild. The kids are already jumping around with the dog. I, I saw that. So when you when you have that kind of environment, the dog is on all the time. It's nervous. It doesn't know how to calm down. What I have to do is that gizmo is getting ready to go off at any moment. And we're not going to scare her off the couch. We're not going to push her off the couch. We're going to use a positive reward for getting off the couch. Okay. So it looks to me that she's a little fearful. So maybe bad things happen. Maybe somebody kicked her regularly or stepped on her regularly or put her in a compromised position when her feet were on the ground. We don't know. This is a shelter dog. Nicole's with Brianna. She's serving Brianna. We got her. Mm -hmm. no. we her right now. On the, yes. She's, let's get her comfortable. Yeah. And she just shut down immediately. Yep. Okay. That, that's okay. That's okay. What I'd all, like you all to do now is to walk toward the street, all of you. Thank you. I think all things dogs. Yeah. It leads me. It leads me down a, a good path. Yeah. All right. So let's go in and see how she's doing when we all walk in together. <coughs> yes, well, she give me a bite. She get off of me. <laughs> so I have my hand under her. She doesn't care. Did she say step away from the dog? Who would have thought <laughs> that I would come here and your dog would jump in my lap? Right, not ours. Not yours. rather yours. She jumped in my lap. That I would say is her leadership. I have shown her nothing but leadership. Now, she's not even lying on me. She's just using my body as reassurance for her. Do you believe in mentalism? Do you understand what dog yeah. mentalism yeah. is now? We've watched it. You yeah. watched it happen, right? right? Yeah. You watched how I was able to sort of plan out how to get her out of her show. So what do you guys think? I told you that I got a live show that I'm going to bring a bunch of people together and I'm going to try and dog mentalize people live. And Brian, what do you think? You think I, I can do it? I think that's a, a pretty cool idea. And I think... Uh, uh, It'll show people what you know about dogs, that's for sure. Here's how to get down. Oh, you're not sure about it. Your dog gets really a pull free walk and they become more accustomed to it. And then when you shorten up to a shorter lead or you continue to walk with your shorter lead, she basically learns the six feet and then the 10 feet is a big treat and no pulling for you. You can look at him and see what he wants. He wants up right now. He's saying mommy. And if you look at him, I guarantee you he's going to get closer to you yeah. until he eventually works his way back up on your lap. Okay. All right. You have to recognize all these little stairs that he's giving you are all designed to weaken you and to, for you to go. Come on, Mikey, come on up here. Mm -hmm. He trained you. Okay. And when he trains you, you lose leadership. Okay. You're going to prepare your dog to be independent. Okay. You don't have like a piece of salami around. Yeah, there. I do. I you do. Ham? Uh, is that his ham or your ham? It's his. Oh. <laughs> Why do you give me these treats when we got ham? <laughs> this little guy here needs you to make him independent so he can interact with you and with your husband. Okay. My intention is to show you the difference between love and affection. Yeah. Dogs cannot handle affection, human affection. If you vary one little bit with these animals, you are lost. You, you, you have to be totally consistent. Okay. Come here, Mikey. So Mikey is feeling a lot better around Kobe. Um, which is natural. He said, oh. So, my, uh, Kobe has decided he doesn't like the camera. And uh, a, little, a little treat here or there might help. Um, Mikey's very picky. He only wants hand. 
Okay. So he'll take it from my hand, though. So you can see a different side of Mikey when uh, Kobe's around. It's interesting. Uh, he feels more secure. Hi, I'm Sherry Kopey, and we live in Fort Myers. We have two dogs, and most recently adopted Mikey, who is a rescue. We adopted him about seven months ago, and he's been a challenge to to reel back from his abuse, but we're getting there. But the dog mentalist, because he, Mikey is tricky, and I had to get in his head to reverse the damage done. We investigated all sorts of different training programs in the area, and Bob, by far, was the best one to go with. He believes in positive reinforcement. He trains the trainer and the owner, and I've, uh, I highly recommend him for any extremely difficult situation you might have with a dog. He's, he seems to have all the cues and ideas and practical uh, homework for me to do now, so I appreciate everything Bob's doing. Bob, I, if I was to describe him in two words, it would be miracle worker. You don't find that with the animal training at all because you get a medley of different techniques, but Bob certainly has gotten into Mikey's head. We understand our dog more, we can anticipate our dog's actions, and to me that's a miracle. So I highly recommend him for any training you might have. I love my dogs. <laughs> That's why I do this every day. If I can have a new dog every day, I'm happy.